Hello guys, welcome back to Nika Soul Palace Recipes. I've been gone for a while now, I'm back. Missing all of you so, so much. We're into the holidays, so happy holidays everyone soon to come. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to marinate a turkey. We're gonna be doing Creole style to get it fried. So to go ahead on and get started, let me show you guys the ingredients. So in this bowl here is this Creole Tony Satcher butter injection. And this is just the marinade. Along follow with his seasoning. Since I want it like hot, really spicy, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this red hot original seasoning as well, as well as the original hot sauce. Topping it off with some red pepper flakes, some poultry seasoning, a little bit of meat tenderizer. But right now we're gonna go ahead on and get the butter started. So in a separate bowl, just get some butter. I'm just a get my hand dirty type of woman. You guys know that. I'm going to use this whole thing because I got two turkeys actually to do. Okay, so we could just start right there. So to give the turkey more flavor... This is optional. You don't have to do it, but it will kick up the flavor. I'm going to put a little bit of this apple cider vinegar in here. This is just an uh, enhancer. So whoever knows about apple cider vinegar, it definitely makes things enhanced with flavoring. Put some hot sauce. Forgot how slow that takes so i'll just dump it off and again guys use as much seasonings as you would like to use i want mine it's very very flavorful this is the red hot i'm going in with i just want to give it more of a spice like a good kick and i can really smell that the seasoning And it may seem like a lot, but it's not. This is a big turkey. Plus, I'm also doing two. So, I'm marinating two birds. So, it may seem like a lot of seasoning, but it's not. If you want your turkey well flavored, you're going to have to get in and get those seasonings in there. Poultry. When I tell y'all it's heat, I can already feel a little bit of meat tenderizer i don't need too much of that and y'all know i love my adobo and as everyone know i will list exactly how much seasonings i feel like i put in here i can kind of just eyeball everything after i use this butter i'm going to put this all inside all around then i'll go in with this Hold on, I'll just give that like a little mix up. How you just kind of want is how you do it. You can make it like a, you can do it this way. If you don't have this, and you want to make a butter spread, you can actually microwave this up a little bit, like make your own seasoning spread, Mi microwave it up and eject it that way as well. But since I'm just putting this in the inside and a little bit on the out, I'm just going to kind of keep it this consistency like this. But you can see that's really red hot. And feel free to add more however you want to do it. That's fine for me. So, y'all know I'll get my hands dirty. Oh, I didn't show you on this video how I cleaned the turkey. This turkey has already been cleaned. 
I have another video where I go through all the steps of cleaning the turkey out, inside out. But at this point, after everything is clean, you want to go ahead on and pat dry it as much as you can dry it. Because we know when frying the turkey, it could lead to hazard with water touching oil. So we don't want that. Try to pat it as dry as you can. Um, it's still going to have some moisture, but just get it as dry as you can. And that's the reason why I'm not going to put this in a turkey bag at the end because I don't want that bag to create the moisture with the turkey in there tied that can create more water. So I'm just going to aluminum foil cover it. And the giblets that comes in here, the neck and the giblets, if you want to make a turkey broth, save that. I will show you guys exactly what to do with that. I have another video on how to make a good turkey stock as well. I'm gonna, I always do like turkey gravy as well as like a beef. I normally do like a roast beef or something like that as well. So get in there really good. Get all up behind all of this. You know, the turkey flaps be, I just extend it because when I be cleaning it off, I got to make sure all that glob. So I really just, you know, take that and extend it out. So just go ahead on, put the butter everywhere through. And this bird is going to be well, well seasoned because not only am I doing this as well, I have the Tony Satchers marinade uh, injectable butter as well. And I just love my meat, you know, well flavored, seasoned. It's the holidays. This turkey is gonna marinate for four days. Excuse me, four days. So about time we get to really frying it, it'll be very well seasoned and marinated through. Also, you could use some gloves if you don't, you know, want to get your hands dirty. This is very messy. I just don't never mind because I'm a wash, wash freak anyways. I always wash my hands all throughout the day for literally no reason at all. <laughs> Way before COVID even started. I don't even know why I just get up and wash my hands and I don't wash my hands like 10 minutes prior. So it doesn't really bother me. But if it do, just put some gloves on. And get in there. Get in there really, really good, guys. I'm also going to put some additional flavor in here. Go As soon as I'm done putting this butter all through, go through and sprinkle your same seasonings. We're going to make sure this turkey is really flavorful. And comment in the comments below. Did y'all miss me? I missed it, y'all. Tell me how your Cajun turkey came out if you decided to make this. Last year, I did the oven roasted turkey, the garlic and herb. That's also my favorite. I just love turkey. I think turkey is just my favorite meat, period. And whatever you missed, don't even have to really worry about it because we're going to go back in and season it up. And yeah, we just wanted some Cajun this time. Let me wash my hands and be right back. So I'm going to have several videos with everything that I'm cooking for Thanksgiving. I also have a couple clients that want services. So I will be showing you guys the whole thing, not just turkey. 
And please comment in the video, in the comment, um, other things that you guys would like to see me make that I don't have a video of. I like new suggestions and ideas as well. That's that one. I'm going to put some more of this one on. Use this side, though. Let me know how you guys are going to do yours. Cajun style. You're going to do jerk. I have a different couple ways that I offered the clients uh, lemon pepper. Everybody want Cajun this year, though. I really, really can smell all this heat, and my eyes are starting to water, guys. <laughs> so we know this going to have that spice that I was looking for. And then after the four days are up and we go to deep frying this, we'll be back with the video to show you guys. Now, some people do just leave theirs like this. Um, I want all the flavor. So I'm just going to go ahead on and flip this and do the other side. I want to make sure everything is covered. Just a little bit moisture left down in there. Make sure you really go back on the other vid and, and really wash this really, really good. Go through all the crevices. It's a lot of glob, um, a lot of fat. Go through all the crevices and get all that gulp out. And I had to do two turkeys, so I had to clean them both up. Took me roughly probably 30 minutes for real. I want on people who I got to just keep on digging through it to make sure I got everything. And as you guys see, I'm going to have to make some more butter for my second one. So I'm just going to show you guys this one. Because this what I'm doing to this is the same thing I'm going to do to the other one. Creole seasoning. Don't forget the wings on the side, your legs, thighs. Really season this bird. Don't be afraid. Because y'all know how it can be with turkey. You can think it's well seasoned. Excuse me, guys. You can think it's well seasoned, and then you can go to frying it or roasting it, and you can be like, oh, this needs a little more flavor. So don't be scared to get in there. That's the reason why I do marinate this for four days. I always did it that way because it's going to be well marinated. So even if you feel like you're not sure if you did enough seasoning, the process of marinating is going to take care of that. But still, don't shy of your seasonings. Unless you just, you know, don't like seasoned meat like that. I get it with the sodium intake with, with people, even my, some of my customers. They want theirs, you know, lightly sodium intake. So if you don't have that and you just want a really flavorful and seasoned, I suggest you follow mine. Mine's definitely going to be seasoned. I don't even play that about dog meat. See, showing them how the inside, all that in the inside, get it. But whatever you missed, that Tony Satcher is going to take care of the rest of that. Because we're going to inject all that. But you see that? Get the crevices of all that. Get that right on in there. 
Last time I made this, my family lost it. They lost their mind. Everybody been waiting for this turkey. I'm telling you for years. Nope, don't be afraid to hit that. Also, continuously washing your hands. You know how poultry is, and you don't want to mess around with this meat, then have to turn around and scratch your face or anything. Contamination is real with poultry. So be careful, guys. Okay, so right here, like I told you guys, this is the Tony Satcher's injectable butter. This is the Creole kind. They also have um, the garlic and herb. They also have jalapeno and pepper. If you want, you can use jalapeno and pepper as well and inject this and put the Creole style because that with that pepper, is, it's probably going to make it a little stronger where you probably won't even have to use this that I used. So to go ahead and get started with that, I already opened it up. Once you open it up, this is how it looks. This is exactly how it come. So what you're gonna do is just take the injector needle piece, screw it onto this, and just put this in the inside. Now you're ready to just... Also, do not leave this in the bottle while you're going to use this. This has contamination at the top. Make sure you put in an additional bowl, mason jar, or anything. What you're going to do now, just stick it in there. Go like that. It's going to bring it up. See? And then you just stick it. Um, I just do everywhere. Like I said, I'm a, it's up to you how you want to season your turkey or whatever. Go through kind of like the thicker side. So like you see, I'll just poke that leg. As you're injecting it, you see it's going up. That's just getting the flavor in. I'll just try to stick it, you know. The breast, the breast really go in on, as you know, it's a thicker part of the meat. Don't you see it raising up? And just go all over your turkey. Get this all marinated. Do the back, the thighs, the wings. Do everywhere. You don't have to as well use as much of, as I'm using on each side. You can just poke it. Put a little poke it that way. Put a little. I'm just a heavy season freak. But you probably can do probably one, two, three, four. Do the legs, do the wings. It's up to you pretty much. But if you are like me and like it extra flavorful, just stick a stick a little bit more. And yes, we are going to use that whole. I'm sorry. We're gonna use that whole bowl of this. Oops, probably easier too to just pick it up from the side so you can get the meat. And I'm gonna turn it over as well and stick it. Nothing like a good flavorful piece of meat. Y'all see it rising up, getting all those juices in. But that jalapeno one, I actually should have got one of those as well. Let 
Now I'm gonna stick all up in here a lot extra because this is the breast. So just keep on going with the syringe, guys, and keep on sticking your bird. The more you stick, the juicier it'll be. And you shouldn't have no problems with it being juicy, though. Follow the directions. If you're going to deep fry like I'm doing, it's about three, I think about three to three and a half um, minutes per pound. So as long as you follow that, it's very important to follow that. So this one is 16 pounds. So three and a half minutes for 16 pounds. That's when you'll take it out. And just keep on marinating it, rubbing it in. What I'm going to do. Flip it over and get some more. And to see with the moisture and everything, this is the reason why I'm not going to put it in the bag. Because I don't want the moisture to keep creating. I got to fix this needle as well, guys. But yup, just keep on. Keep on sticking your bird until you finish, till you feel like you did enough. My needle is really giving out on me for some reason. Oops. See how fat it's getting, guys? Sit up, mama. I think it's this bowl. So I'm just going to put a little more seasoning on this top. You see how some of that is gone on that side? Where's the... I want to use this Creole. And this turkey will be good to go. I can get started on my second one. And guys, I will definitely... Be back in four days. Show you guys how this look. And right before we put it in that deep fryer over there. And I will list in the description possibly how much I use for every seasoning. Yep, that's it for the marinating portion. So thanks again for watching Nika Soul Palace videos. We'll be back in four days for updates on the next steps.